guys know, here's the GL450. We're gonna be repairing it. I told you guys I'm gonna be spending some time with my son and we're gonna be bonding and trying to fix this problem. Now, I wanna make a few things clear. I posted a video on this. It was a $10,000 repair bill. It had nothing to do with the shop. It's not that the shop is trying to rip me off or anything. I know a lot of you are like, maybe it's the shop. It's not the shop. The work is legit $10,000 worth of work. It's the wiring harness, the ECU, eight sensors, and a bunch of other stuff that I need to do. Um, so I'm gonna get started and we'll see. So the first thing I wanna tell you guys is, of course, I, I removed the covers. This is the ECU, that is the harness. First thing I need to do is unclip this uh, to figure out if there's any oil that seeped through. But just by looking at that, those wires, it does seem like there may be oil. And how does the oil get through? Believe it or not, the wiring harness is almost in a tray. So it's almost like a straight shot for the oil to get through the PC. Now, I hope there's no oil in there, but if there is, we're gonna find out. Disconnected the ECU um, and I do have some bad news, unfortunately. I don't know if you guys can tell or see, but there's a little bit of a shine, a gloss on the wiring harness pin. And that means uh, this pin is dry. This one is the one that's a little shiny. And what that means is there's a little bit of oil. All right, that confirms it. The harness does have oil in it. So we're gonna unbolt all of this and get that taken care of. And just to show you guys, I don't know if you guys can see that, but that is, oh, you can. That is oil on the corners of this ECU. So it seems like it didn't go through, but it's over there. So it's just started. So I might have saved the ECU, but definitely not the harness. So let's go take a look at what's going on there. And you know what they say, teach them young. All right, Yusuf, let's get that harness out of there. All right, we're loosening the harness cap to check inside and we're gonna be in there in just a second. All right, guys, so this is how much progress we've made so far. We're looking for oil in the harness. Now the pin does have oil in it, it's shining, I can tell. But the harness seems pretty dry, so I'm gonna follow it all the way to the pin and see where we end up. Okay, quick update. All right, so I chased everything down all the way. Couldn't find the oil on this side. So on this bank of the harness, I've opened everything as you guys can see, and there's oil here, but it's not coming from this side. So what I'm thinking and what it seems to me is happening is that the oil is coming from this side of the harness, which means it was either one of these two sensors over here. So I'm gonna chase the line and I'm gonna see how far I get. Okay, so I was able to open up the harness um, and we're looking at it. Doesn't seem like there's much oil. All right, I'm gonna call it a night for the day. You guys are gonna get to watch me try to diagnose, fix this problem on my own. So I'll stay. stay.